Hello Capricorn, we are about to start your You vs. Them reading and I want to thank everyone for your beautiful likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. So Capricorn, this is your side. This is a person of interest side. At the bottom of the deck, the overall energy in this reading from your viewpoint, your feelings, is this beautiful tiger who is swimming across the water. We don't think of tigers as being water creatures, but it clearly shows that you would really go the distance to work this relationship out. You want to come up with this very, very good, open-minded Sagittarius energy to say, you know what, I'll go the distance. I'm in it to win it. So I do like that. Let's see what else is here. We have three of wands. You do see this person possibly as being someone for your future, in your future. Two of wands, you may have to make a decision. Three of swords tells me that, you know, you probably are not seeing this person exclusively. And of course, that would be the case oftentimes with a new relationship. The ace of discs, you want this person to make an offer and you have Hierophant on the mind. You want, you want to have this energy coming in the right way towards you. You don't really know this person is what I'm seeing very well. There is a lot to learn about this person. Okay, so we're gonna look at your energy first. What we're getting here in the recent past is a strength card, the Wheel of Fortune. Well, you feel very fortunate to have met this person. Um, the strength card is really beautiful. This is a pregnant woman holding her belly. There's the strength card really, we always get the infinity symbol because um, that is this Leo energy is all about uh, birthing something, about having the strength to go the distance, about being able to keep your balance. The Wheel of Fortune says, that, you know, you feel lucky. You just feel lucky, you know. You feel as though this person is a stroke of good luck in your life. Very positive energy. You like them. You want them to be next to you. You want to cuddle. You want to build a life. You're, you feel as though that's a possibility. Currently, we have a situation in which I get this person really feels that they want to move slowly, but they don't think that you're moving at all. Okay. The Ten of Swords says that when we get swords, we get thoughts but this is Gemini energy. This person has had, um, you feel as though this person may have betrayed you in some way. That there is, in my viewpoint, an expectation here out of alignment. So for some of you, this could be this person betrayed you. It can also be energy for some of you that says essentially that you are, uh, you've, you're coming into this as sort of a person who's been wounded and you're taking things slowly. You're coming in with old wounds from other relationships is what it looks like. We look at the Eight of Wands. Look at this. This is how you view your the situation. Ace of Candles, a passionate new beginning. Eight of Wands, making love all night long, communicating all day long, really wanting to move forward, being willing to go on a vacation or air travel with this person. So that's very, very passionate energy though. This person excites you. They incite you and they excite you. Now your person in the recent past has felt like there's been a distance between the two of you, the hermit card. This person is not um, in this same thought process as you. What they want though is they want to be the keeper of challenges and challenges are wands energy. You know, we get this person is a king of wands. So we have wands here. We have Leo energy here. This would be the Leo energy. So when we look at this energy, we see someone who keeps to themselves until they're really ready to make a move. They do think that you are a potential mate of value. Now we get into, wow, the, okay. So now we have the emperor card. This emperor is very dedicated to making sure that the two of you have a solid foundation. And what I'm seeing here is that their perception of you and the way they feel about the situation right now is that there's something critically wrong. This could be an argument. This is something that was likely set out of turn. And when I look at the energy that represents where you're at at this time, the Ten of Swords, you know, this is this looks like somebody who's wielding a sword, right? 
So you're coming in as a Knight of Presence or the Knight of Pentacles. This person's coming in as a Hierophant, but it does look like there was an argument or you're in the process of having an argument that has created a break in the relationship. This tower card is when the tower comes down, relationships often fall apart because they don't have a strong foundation. Your person, however, wants to have a strong foundation with you. They see you as a person with whom they could build a future, but they're going slowly. I feel as though you're riding very quickly here. You're on this horse, you're, you're out there, you may be asking them how they feel about you. Even though you say you wanna take it slowly, I feel as though that's a contradiction possible. Possibly. You know, you want to take it slowly. I oftentimes as a professional reader get, well, we've been dating three months. Why hasn't, hasn't so-and-so told me that they love me? And to be quite honest, I don't find that that is um, oftentimes the way it happens. Especially masculine energies have a tendency not to do that until they're on the verge of a major commitment. Um, you know, some do, some don't. But I'm getting that the person you're dealing with with this emperor energy is not a person who this person wants to build a strong foundation and right now they're viewing this energy this ten of swords energy um this passionate energy you know their their response to that is the ten of cups i mean they think that you could be there happily ever after but while you're traveling you know, 80 miles an hour down the expressway. They're having dinner, chilling, they're reasonable, they're calm. Five of Swords says and speaks very strongly to the fact that you are having a very big disagreement where you see the 10 of Swords like, hey, if I don't get what I want, I don't want it, you know, I'll just move along somewhere else, but I really want you. This is sort of their, their perception of what you're saying. Is it like you're saying the right things, but you, not, you might not really be acting in the way that they perceive you to be a person who's building this sense of community, who's building a strong foundation. They see this, they feel very challenged by the situation, but they also feel like they're alone, that they, you're not on the same page as how this person views the situation. They do see you as possibly their happily ever after. That is a marriage card also, as most of you know. But this person really feels that you're off to a very rocky start or you're in a rocky place if you've been in this relationship for some time. Their bottom of the uh, deck energy um, is the Three of Pentacles. They want to collaborate. They want to create something of value with you, Ace of uh, Pentacles. So they definitely see that. I don't really think of Capricorn as being very impulsive, but this person thinks that you're moving too fast, Knight of Swords. They think that you speak impetuously, that you say things that can derail the relationship. They feel as though you're better than this. And here you are in your reading, the devil energy. So what I'm seeing here is your person feels like you're trying to control the relationship. The devil energy is somebody who is holding the strings over another person like a puppet. Well, this emperor energy is not going to allow that. You know, this energy is way too strong. You're very strong. We know that Capricorn, you're very, very strong. This person will not put up with devil energy. What they will and what they do want is king of pentacles energy, which is Taurus, which is building something. Ten of swords says that just as you are going to walk away, if it goes too slowly, this person will walk away if you try to rush things, okay? So very, very different energies. Now let's look at the overall energy coming into the reading. Uh, and that is a golden palace. Both of you are on the same page. You both think that this relationship really could be everything you want it to be. We do get unexpected visitors here. In this case, visitors are bunnies and sweetness. To me, when I look at the overall energy for the two of you, I feel as though your person sees the bunnies and the sweetness while you're sort of, you know, really moving in very fast. This person wants to take their time, you know. So unexpected visitors. For you, the unexpected visitor is, you know, basically your unexpected passion, your desire to be married. Married. You usually take things very slowly, but for this person, they really want to see the joy and happiness. So unexpected visitors, good and bad, not all visitors are welcome, but it does look as though the unexpected visitors are your expectations. 
We also get the spirit of place. Look at how gorgeous this is. Both of you really see one another as a very fine human being. What I do see is a complete disconnect in the way you build things, the way you do things, what your expectations are in terms of how it's going to evolve. It looks like you're both very strong people. And it looks as though with the Tower card and the Ten of Swords, you could butt heads a lot. When you butt heads with this person, they are going to go silent. They're going to think about things. This is a person who does not like conflict, I will say that. So if you're wielding a sword, this person will not ultimately really want to be in a relationship with you. So, you know, the sword's energy could be that you're a Capricorn with a, you know, a uh, Gemini, because that's Gemini energy, rising or moon or Venus. So the way you're feeling, Knight of Cups energy, you're feeling very romantic, you're feeling very like you want love, you're willing to give love. The Queen of Potions, Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy, the Knight of Cups, very dreamy Pisces energy. You're very much in your feels with this person. And when we look at this, this person is very passionate about you, but they're shut down emotionally. They're not open. They don't like this conflict. This person doesn't know that they want to be open to you right now. You know, Eight of Swords, again, Gemini energy. Um, they are just not sure that this is going to produce the kind of relationship that they want. The Five of Swords, you feel somewhat like when they pull away from you, when there is conflict, because we have a conflict card and now we have five, the five of swords again conflict five of swords five of swords so you've had this conflict now we get the hermit card and both you know this person really pulls back they don't really put themselves out there the way you do and so you're really feeling a little bit hopeless but you're angry when they pull back and they're not really willing to have a big fiery debate with you um, you really feel betrayed by that. Five of Swords, you feel like they're not playing by the rules. Their feeling is that this person is very fiery. They can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. This King of Wands, hell yes, can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. But they see this as, you know, ten of challenges. I mean, they just see this as a relationship that just may be too much. You know, that your expectation, again, Ten of Challenges is Ten of Swords energy. So it does look like the two of you are really at odds with one another. And you really like each other. But I have to say right now, you are liking your person more than they're feeling comfortable with you. I will say that. You know, there's some work that needs to be done here to make this relationship really, really work. Your relationship, your energy in terms of how you want to move things forward. You want to move fast. Knight of Swords. You want to talk everything out. You want to be the boss. They, they expect to be the boss. So what I see is a power struggle going on here, Capricorn. You know, when we get that devil energy too, that is really tough energy. Very tough energy when we saw that at the bottom of the deck. That is not something that this person wants to deal with, and that is your card. So it's really tough. Let's look at your bottom of the deck energy and see what we're pulling out to sort of catch up here on this energy. Okay, you see them as your future. The Two of Wands, you have to make a decision. The Three of Swords, you feel like they're not really giving you, they're not telling you that they're going to date you exclusively yet. It looks as though you feel that that's problematic. The Three of Swords means that they're, they're not giving you the attention you want. And so I'm getting that energy on your side. Now, when we see you wanting to move forward really rapidly, we do see this person. Look at this. This is a wise woman. This is a high priestess. This person has a tremendous amount of emotional intelligence. The wise woman being the high priestess is Cancerian energy. They feel instinctively that you could be the one. The sun card's the happiest card in the deck. They feel as though you could be their happy place. But they also feel as though it takes time and energy and wisdom and calm to build a relationship. So this person's at a much slower pace than you, and they will not be pushed. I will just say that. Just as you are really bent on getting what you want, 
you're you're both pretty forceful people not this person's softer in the way they present but this person would be more like stubborn like you're you're not the boss of me you know i will hear you out but you're going to have to hear me out and the energy that they view you as is being really stubborn and you just want it your way or the highway which is you know we're getting really cute critters in here, unexpected visitors, but right now the two of you may be midpoint in a relationship in which you're really starting to get to know each other at a much deeper level. When we look at the hidden energy that you have that you really haven't expressed is eight of discs. You are, you want to work on this relationship and you feel as though if this person isn't on the same page, queen of swords, gone that you know, you'll move on, that you know, you're know you not going to be in a relationship that doesn't serve you. Again, doesn't serve you is a, a, a term that means you know, it really should serve both of you, but you're looking at it from a very sort of very, a very slim sort of look. I mean, but is the Queen of Swords fair? Absolutely. You know, the Libra energy is there. So I can understand that. Your person, though, feels very, very contented with their life. The Huntsman energy is really beautiful. It's coming up. This is a person who likes to be in nature. This is a person who's very grounded. The Huntsman energy is a beautiful energy that says that they live in the forest. They view life very differently. They're very almost holistic. Very, They want things to open and unfold in a very, very natural way. They won't force anything. You know, they're, even though they can hunt the deer, they can take the prey. This person is very content being alone. This person has been alone probably for some time. Uh, though they see you as their happiness, wow, two of the happiest cards in the deck, the Ten of Cups is happily ever after, a marriage in which they feel that you represent this beautiful life force and this vibrant energy, but they do think that in their wisdom that you need to slow down. So when we look at the energy here, we're getting the Six of Cups. Spirit is suggesting that the two of you are soulmates of the Minor Arcana. The Queen of Wands, be fiery, that's okay. You can be as fiery as you wanna be, but Six of Cups, be a little softer. You know, that's the advice of spirit. Your outcome here is the Four of Needles. So I'm seeing that for you, Capricorn, this is your person, pure and simply put. The t you do recognize that the two of you are very different. We have the red, this red beautiful unicorn slash stallion you're white you know you're this this very feminine sort of soft sweet energy uh coming in here or it's vice versa it doesn't matter how it really flows but it does say that right now you are feeling you know your outcome short term is that you're not going to make progress with this person unless you meet them halfway so you have some very big differences in your personalities but both of you see the other as like an amazing person. But the conflict, the level of conflict, the level of not being able to temper this, you know, and I do see that this is, as I almost could say this is your outcome card, that that's my suggestion to you, that Capricorn, you need to temper the devil energy. You know, this devil energy is getting in your way. You're inviting sort of, you know, this need to now recover. The Four of Swords is when you have to pull back. It feels like depression. It feels like you feel powerless in the relationship. You're exhausted. Just don't try to push it so hard. Don't, don't, you know, this is Capricorn energy. Again, I'm going to say this. The devil energy is manipulative. And so it's really important that you tune into your higher self you know, we all want what we want, right? The heart wants what the heart wants. I will never criticize that. I am as stubborn as anybody else. But spirit is saying you are not going to get your way if you proceed with the devil energy. When we look at how this person, what spirit is telling this person, 
Spirit is telling them that although they're very nervous about you now, they feel as though there is, in their mind, a lack of stability in this relationship and how you're showing up in it. And it really, they've been down the smoky trail before. They've been down this path before. They don't wanna be underwater. They're not going to be underwater. This person is going to maintain a very healthy set of boundaries, a place in nature, something that feels very natural. They're very comfortable being alone. They do not suffer when they're alone at all. You know, but what we get here is this Neptunian Pisces energy, and we do have Pisces causing some havoc in the Zodiac right now. But the Six of Boons, this is the Six of Cups. You know, we have the Six of Cups. There's a lot of reflective energy here. And so both of you feel as though the other person is a soulmate, but they really feel as though, you know, they're really in a sense of withdrawal. You look at this energy. You know, the Four of Swords, most of you know, is uh, in the Rider weight is the warrior sleeping on top of a coffin in a church. And this person is saying, I'm exhausted. This is too much. I don't, I don't want to howl at the moon. You know, I want to be so comfortable. I have bunnies and pets and look at this person's probably an animal lover. But this person is, um, I think you're withdrawn from each other right now. You're at this impasse. Now, the out outcome per for your person, in terms of how they view it, they see Ten of Cups, Ten of Visions, excuse me. The Ten of Visions is they really see you as a person with whom they can have a beautiful life. The Chariot card does show your person's going to come in and and take charge, bringing in a beautiful, lovely offer of love I'm really almost surprised at this outcome. I didn't expect it. So they see your ability and your willingness to temper this energy, this devil energy, and that's your turning point. That's the key to turning this relationship into something really beautiful, something that is Virgo energy that's very grounded and very solid. So when we look at the energy of the Ten of Visions, it's quite beautiful. You know, we really see happiness, joy, starry night. You know, it's a very nurturing energy. The seven, this is, this is Cancerian energy. You know, they home is where the heart is. They see you as a person with whom their heart can live, their heart can thrive, but they're not, they're still a knight. They are not sold on the idea that this relationship is really ready to move to the next level. This person is a king. They've shown up as the emperor. You've shown up as the emperor. They've shown up as a king. They've shown up as, uh, you know, in very, very powerful ways in the reading. They're the king of wands. So the fact that they're only bringing the knight of cups says that they're using caution right now. They're willing to step in as long as you are not trying to uh, abnormally push the situation. And, you know, a tiger swimming in the water can feel a little bit abnormal to this person. So though it really says that you can go the distance, that you're powerful, you're beautiful, you know, it really is speaking to the fact that um, this Virgo energy, learning more about your person and learning how to deal with them, communicate with them, and so forth is what is going to bring you success Cindy, you love from Chicago, Capricorn, send some back. Take care. Bye-bye.